Hey, what's up, what it, man? White boy out down radio, man. For this one, man, all we can do is keep it real, man. You know, for everybody who's who follows the channel, man, y'all, you, you know, I've been to jail a bunch of times. I've been to prison twice. You know, um, one thing I always say is I don't, I don't wish jail or prison on my worst enemy, and I really mean that because I really been through it. I really lived that. I really been in situations where I wouldn't want another man to go through, seen stuff that I would not want another man to see, live through things from everything, man, from, from, from weirdos, just whipping their stuff out and doing crazy stuff. People getting poked up, man, uh, having to go through it with, with gangs, people getting jumped, man, just, 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 it's the worst of the worst, if you will, man. Um, you know, January 6th, when it comes to the media, um, they make that thing look like a horror story. You know, it was a bunch of middle-aged people who, uh, liked the president at the time and they went in and, and, and you know, they tried to uh, utilize their rights or whatever, you know, and, and there's videos where there's cops literally letting these people in the Capitol. And, and, and what's happening is, uh, it's sad because, you know, it, it, it's been months now since that's happened. Okay. People tied in with Proud Boys, Miss Matt, whatever, whatever happened. I don't care what aisle or what, or what side that you go with. It, it's wrong. Okay. It's wrong. And let me explain it, man. I've been to prison, man. Um, look, the worst of the worst get done. Like those people that got arrested are getting done. Then people are not, they're not getting fed right. Then people are getting beaten. Then people are getting tortured. Okay, well, what's happening? That's what all the question marks are for. What's happening? Why? They got misdemeanor charges. I've been in prison, man. I've been in prison and in and, and, and bad level camps where, man, where, uh, where the worst of the worst don't even get done like that. The worst of the worst, man, who gets done like that? What's happening to these people is they're getting, they're getting beaten, tortured. They're not getting fed. These people are middle-aged people. They never they don't have a criminal history. No criminal history. And they're getting done worse than the worst of the worst. I mean, what I'm speaking of is you have to be, you have to put your hands on a CO to get that treatment. You have to whip, you have to see one of these weirdos whip their stuff out and, and gun one of the officers down, and another officer's married to that officer. They're gonna throw you back under there and they're gonna do you just like that. These people are not in prison. They got, they got crazy, messed up, um, misdemeanor trespass charges, and they're getting done like that. I mean, that, that's political prisoner at its finest, and they're all white. And the reason that I that I'm paying attention to this is because there's one dude. He's like 50 years old from Florida, my home state. He went up there, and, and he didn't go in. He went around the building, near the building, case eight months, first time. Man, I got I got a rap sheet that's 19 pages long. My first time, I didn't do eight months. They're getting done wrong, and they're all white. It's it, man. I keep telling y'all, man, to stay 10 steps ahead of these people, man. Stay smart, man. You know, they're all white. These people, they're, they're really trying to make um, something out of nothing. They really are. And this one hits me hard because I don't, I don't like the fact that why are they in confinement for a misdemeanor? You can't go in any jail in the United States. And your family or friends got a DUI or a petty, a petty, a petty theft or a jaywalking or shoplifting, and and you go to visit him, and he's in confinement unless he was bumping, he was stealing, or he, unless he violated the rules of the institution. These people are going to confinement off top. Why is the question marks? Why? Why are they getting beat? Why are they getting tortured? They don't have any voice. When you go to prison, you have nobody. You're dead. You gotta make a family inside. You gotta roll with who you roll with. They don't even get that choice. At least when I went to confinement, the stories I tell on this channel, I had bunkies and stuff. Sure, one of my bunkies was messing with a boy, a punk. I got up out of the room. I, I ain't with it. Not we, we, we can't stay in the same room. Not in a room this big. When I'm taking a crap, you might be whacking. No, nah, it ain't going down like that. But the, the question to this is crazy, man, because they're painting a the picture, man. Um, the agenda out here is so wide open that that if you still can't see it, um, you better ask somebody. But why me, a YouTube channel with barely even 3,000 people, why do I have to put this out there? Why ain't this on the news? Why? It's part of the agenda, that's why. Man, um, I keep telling everybody, man, Stay smart, see what's coming. Stay safe, man. 
Smash the subscribe button, man. But the question is, why? Till the next one.